Man, the things I do for some drivers. Just kidding. Had this car brought in from Arkansas and uh, he dropped it off last night. I told him just to park it here so he could either get some sleep or, or continue moving. This little Pontiac Valor. Um, yeah, not a showpiece, but uh, definitely a cool ride. Find the key somewhere. Should be on one of the tires, but. Yep, there we go. See if we can get this thing started up. So sometimes, depending on where the cars are coming from, where the driver's going, um, things like that, I will uh, I'll have them drop it off to me so they can keep moving. Like he was gonna be here at three in the morning and he uh, you know, had time left to drive and everything. So I said, just drop it to me and uh, I'll take it to the customer. It's customer's close here. And uh, I'll end up taking it down to him so he can keep moving down the road. See if we can get the right key to the ignition of this thing. Uh, maybe not that one. All right, let me see if I can get this thing fired up. How do we think she's gonna start? It's cold. Oh man, like a dream. Like a dream, look at this thing. Hold on, oops. Oh, manual transmission. I feel like I'm like smoking the bandit this morning. into the most magical place on earth just kidding it's not that magical but pulling into the trailer shop here i want to price some parts because i'm gonna be doing some uh i'm actually gonna drive back here see what else they have here and somebody's low profile aluminum trailer sitting back over in that corner and it's blocked in so i bet you the person hasn't paid their bill for that but um I'm going to either pay to have this shop do it, pay somebody I know to do it. I, I want to rebuild this trailer, the Gator trailer. I want to put, um, I want to put all new springs on it. I want to put um, all new brakes on it. I want to put, um, it's already got new equalizers on it. I want to. Um, put all four new tires on it i want to redo i'm having some brake issues it's not the brakes themselves be, I, I highly doubt because the brakes are pretty new but so i'm trying not to hit anything in this parking lot but um i think it's the wiring because i've been having some recently been having some light issues uh, i don't know if i said in the last episode I put up i was in uh somewhere ohio something like that and oh, this is this new brand there i was in ohio and i realized it was during the middle of the day but i realized i lost running lights i was like well that happened the other day and it blew the fuse and then i went another like you know week or so without any issues and all of a sudden i don't have any running lights i put a fuse in it blows the fuse right away and it was brutally cold outside so i'm like all right i'm gonna get to somewhere where i can like uh you know like parks or the wind's not so bad like inside a building or something just so i can look at this sure enough hey stop licking i just gave the dogs a bath so they're all hey stop licking anyways so i um i was like all right so i'll drive there and i'll figure it out well i'll drive five miles on the road lights come back on been fine for the thousand miles after that so thinking something somewhere in the wire i mean this trailer if you want to think about it, this trailer's probably got 200,000 ish miles on it i would assume and um all i've done to it was brakes and equalizers so i'm gonna go ahead and put new springs on it i noticed the springs were are kind of worn uh the trailer was not handling the weight of the uh garage doors 
like I thought it should. And you could tell when it was unloaded that the springs are kind of kind of worn out. So that's what we're doing. We're going to run in here and get some pricing on parts and see if they have like total rebuild kits in here or what they're uh what the deal is and then i'm going to run over to the service side and get a quote if they were to do it because uh, this place has pretty good pricing and if they weren't to do it i might have like a friend or mine so i posted on facebook like to see if i had any friends that now yeah, i got a bunch of mechanic friends and if they wanted some side work you know christmas is coming up i'd pay them on the side bring them the trailer they could do it at my house and um so i can get it done because i just i don't have the time right now to do it myself no, I'm not trying to show you out the mirror. No, this truck doesn't blow any smoke. What I'm trying to show you is... Anybody remember that house? I sure do. Anybody remember that garage? Sure miss it sometimes. It's a nice diamond C set up there. Trying to get fuel through mud puck. Hydraulic dovetail. Step deck. Uh, what is that? A 50, yeah, 5500. Bunch of old, old iron on there. 